Hi everyone, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creation. And for today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to crochet this cute little bee hat. And um, I'm going to do another variation in this video, so it's optional if you could, if you want to have a plain bee hat like this, just with the black and white stripes and the the wings. But in the video, I am going to also, which is also optional. I am going to put a little cute little face onto onto the hat. So yeah, let's get started on how to crochet this cute little bee hat. Hope you guys enjoy. So let's get on with the materials. Okay, so as for the materials. Um, so as for the yarn, I'll be using um, I'll be using Charity Double Knit Pull Skein yarn, and um, it is 233 meters, approximately 256 yards. It is 100 grams, and it is 100% acrylic. It recommends a four millimeter crochet hook, and this is the color Banana Yellow. Okay, we'll also be needing some black. It's in the same um, yarn, DK weights, all of that. Um, we're needing some white for the wings as well as for the eyes if you if you do want to do the eyes it's optional and then also for the eyes um, or for the face you'll be needing some blush which is uh, just have some light pink here just some scrap yarn um, so yeah the face is completely optional <coughs> excuse me um, you don't have to go for the face it's just optional um, so yeah and with that I'll be using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook this is just to get our stitches nice and tight our tension nice and tight we'll be needing a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle with a big eye okay so that is it for the materials let's get started with this cute little hat okay so to get started you're going to want to take your yellow yarn <clears throat> and then we are going to make a magic ring so in order to do that, we are going to take our tail end and we're going to take our yarn, we're going to wrap it around our fingers once and then twice and then the third time we are going to cross over and hold that yarn down with our pinky finger. Then we're going to go under those two front loops, pick up the second loop and pull through. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through to do a chain just to secure that magic ring. Okay, and I'm going to chain an additional one. This is just for leverage. So the chains do not count as a stitch. Um, it's just for leverage. Okay. And then what we are going to do is we are going to place 12 half double crochets into this magic ring. So a half double crochet is yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have three loops on the hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. <clears throat> to do a half double crochet then again we're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two sorry we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops now I actually did a double crochet there so my bad <laughs> so used to doing a double crochet okay so you're going to chain two doesn't count as a stitch then to do a half double crochet you're going to yarn over insert into that magic ring yarn over pull through You'll have three loops on the hook, then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops um, to do a half double crochet. Then you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So that's two. We'll need to do that another ten more, so we'll have twelve half double crochets in total. Okay, so that's three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now after completing your 12 half double crochets, this is what it should be looking like. Then to close up this magic ring, what we're going to do is we're going to take our tail end here. We're going to pull on our tail end. And you see that one little loop being cinched in or pulled in. 
we're going to take that that loop and we're going to pull it down towards us okay and that should close up that hole and then to get rid of this other big loop you're just going to take your tail end and pull on that tight just to close up that magic ring okay and then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning to join yeah so we're going to go insert our hook into that first stitch that we came out of i'm sorry in that first stitch that we made so um you'll just find the top v's of the stitch just insert there and then you're going to yarn over and pull through that that stitch and then pull that loop through that loop on your hook okay to do your slip stitch let me just grab some more yarn here okay i'm going to show you how to do that slip stitch again yeah so you're going to insert your hook under those two front loops of that stitch sorry the two loops of that stitch then you're going to yarn over pull through the stitch and then pull this loop through the second loop to do your slip stitch then you're going to chain two again remember the chain two does not count as a stitch then we're going to do an increase into each stitch around and remember by the end of the first round your stitch count should have been 12 and an increase is doing two half double crochets into the same stitch or into one stitch doing two half double crochets into the same stitch yeah, so we're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Then we're going to go back into, into that stitch and place two half double crochets. And you just repeat that around, placing two half double crochets. Sorry, I think I actually slip stitched um, into that post of that stitch. Okay, so you're going to find the top two loops of that stitch then you're going to yarn over and pull through that first stitch and then pull that loop through the second loop okay and then you're going to chain two one and two which does not count as a stitch okay it does not count as a stitch let me just sort out my yarn here get a little bit of yarn both <laughs> <clears throat> so you're going to chain two and then you're going to yarn over and then you're going to go into that same stitch that that stitch is coming out of and you're going to do it an increase into each stitch around and an increase is placing two half double crochets into the same stitch okay so you're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through and you're going to yarn over pull through all three of those loops and repeat that again into the same stitch yeah. and by the end of that first round your stitch count should have gone from your, your stitch count should be 12 by the end of that first round so if we're going to do an increase into each stitch around our stitch count should have gone up from 12 up to 24 okay so you're just going to go around placing two half double crochets into each stitch around and your stitch count should have gone from 12 up to 24 Okay, so you just repeat this all the way around, placing two half double crochets into each stitch around. Okay, and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next round. Okay, so now I've come back around to the beginning and um your stitch count should have gone up from 12 up to 24 so if we count our stitches we should have 24 so you can count the top v's of the stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty four then you're going to slip stitch to the beginning stitch again so you're going to go under the top two loops of that stitch you're going to yarn over pull through see so you keep going through the post so you need to pick up the front loop and pick up the back loop of the stitch to make sure you actually go through the top of that stitch yeah so you're going to insert your hook into that stitch you're going to yarn over pull through so you're going to pull 
Yeah, so you're going to insert your hook into the top of that stitch, then you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull that first loop through that second loop. Okay, and then for the third round, you're going to chain up two. Remember, it does not count as a stitch. And then you're going to place one half double crochet into that first stitch. Then you're going to place two half double crochets into that next stitch. Okay, yeah, then you're going to repeat that around. You're going to place one half double crochet in that next stitch. Oopsie. Okay. Yeah. You're going to place one half double crochet in the next stitch and then two half double crochets in that next stitch. And you, you repeat that around, placing one half double crochet in the next stitch and then an increase. And your stitch count should have gone up from from 24 up to 36 by the end of this round okay, okay. And then I made a background now to the beginning of the third round and now I'm ready to slip stitch. And um, I just wanted to show you a trick that I found slip stitching, uh, that makes slip stitching easier. So you would insert your hook into the top of the stitch as normal. Okay, going through the front and back loop of that stitch. And then what I like to do is instead of um, yarning over and pulling through, sorry, um, what I like to do instead of yarning over, pull through that, that loop and then pull that first loop through the second loop. It's like a bit much. I feel like it's a little bit of a mouthful. So what I like to do is uh, for a slip stitch, I like to just insert my hook. And then I like to kind of twist my hook down like this. And then I like to pull through both of those loops at the same time. Just makes slip stitching much more quicker and easier. Okay, and then moving on to the fourth round. Again, we're going to chain two. Then you're going to place one half double crochet into the first uh, two stitches. So one and two. And then an increase into the next stitch. And then again, one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then an increase. And then one half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then an increase. And then you, you can repeat that around and your stitch count should have gone up from <coughs> From 36 up to 48 by the end of this next round. Okay, so you can just continue this. And your stitch count should have gone up from 36. From 36 up to 48. And then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next round. Okay, so I've made it back to the beginning of this round. And again, by the end of this round, our stitch count should have gone up from 36 up to 48 by the end of this round. Then I'm going to slip stitch into the beginning of that the first stitch that we did. Okay, so I'm just going to slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to place half, one half double crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase into the next. And this is the repeat pattern for this round. You're just going to place one half double crochet into the next three stitches 
and then an increase into the next. And then at the end of this round, our stitch count should have gone up from 48 to 52 by the end of this round. Yeah, so you can just continue this placing one half double crochet into the next three stitches and then an increase <coughs> and your stitch count as I said should have gone up from 48 to 52 by the end of this round. Okay, so you can go off and I'll meet back up with you when we are ready uh, to start the next round. Yeah. Okay, so now I've made it back round to the beginning again and again your stitch count should have gone up from 48 to 52 by the end of this round. Okay, what we're going to do now is again we're going to slip stitch to the top of the stitch and do a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two. And then we are going to place one half double crochet into the next four stitches and then an increase. So that's one, two, three, four, and then an increase. And then you will just repeat this around, placing one single, well sorry, one half double crochet into the next four stitches and then an increase. And then your stitch count should have gone up from 52 stitches up to 60 by the end of this round. So you can just go off and repeat this pattern all the way around, placing one half double crochet into the next four stitches and then an increase. Okay, so you can go off and um, you can complete that round and again your stitch count should have gone up from 52 stitches up to 60 by the end of this round. Okay, I'll meet back up with you when we're ready to move on to the next round. Okay, so now I've made it back round to the beginning of round 6 and my stitch count should be 60 half double crochets by the end of this round. Um, I'm going to do one more increase round. I'd found that um, doing seven rounds of increases um, had worked for me. Um, so you may want to do more or less increase rounds. Um, it took me three attempts to find out um, how many increase rounds had best like, suited me in my head. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do one more increase round. So I'm just going to slip stitch to um, the beginning stitch here and again your stitch count should have gone up from 52 up to 60. And now for the last round I'm going to chain 2 for the last increase round I should say. I'm going to place one half double crochet um, into the next 5 stitches so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and five and then an increase into the next stitch and then you just repeat that around placing one half double crochet into the next five stitches and then an increase and then you will, re you will repeat that all the way around until you get back to the beginning and your stitch count should have gone up from 60 up to 72 yes up to 72 Yeah, so you can go off and continue placing one half double crochet into the next five stitches and then an increase into the next. 
and again your stitch count should have gone up from 60 up to 70 from 60 up to 70 And then you can continue this and I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to do the next round. Okay. Okay, so now I have made a background to the beginning of round seven and your stitch count should have gone up from 60 up to 72 by the end of this last round. Um, so as I said, I'm having seven increase rounds um <clears throat> excuse me is perfect for me i'm not sure about you you may want to do more or less increase rounds it's up to you um but for me i feel like seven increase rounds is perfect for me <clears throat> so what we're going to do is for the next two rounds we're just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around we are not going to increase and we're not going to de decrease just one half double crochet into each stitch around. And your stitch count should remain the same as um, as 72 stitches. Okay, your stitches should remain the same. And you will repeat this for another row in yellow. So you'll have two rows in yellow without any increasing. Um, so you'll do two rows before changing color to black. Okay, so you can go off and you can do two rows of no increasing, just one half double crochet in each stitch, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we're going to do to color change. Okay, so for rows eight to row nine, or round nine, you should have 72, 72 stitches. So I'll meet back up with you when we are ready, um, when we are ready to, to color change to black to add our first stripe. Okay. Okay, so now I am back and I'm ready to join my black. So I still have one more stitch remaining um, and we're going to color change into that last stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and then insert and then yarn over pull through then you're going to stop there we're going to have three loops on a hook then you want to grab your black yarn okay then you want to grab your black yarn and then while you still have these three loops on your hook you're going to take your black and you're going to yarn over with the black okay so you're going to yarn over whoopsie let me do that again okay so you're going to yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through you're going to drop the yellow and then pick up the black okay you're going to pick up the black and you're going to yarn over and pull that through and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of that stitch and then you're going to do a slip stitch yeah so that's what it should be looking like and then you're going to repeat the process you're just going to chain two and then you're just going to place one half double crochet um, into each stitch around for the next two rounds and your stitch count should remain the same as 72 stitches Okay, so you can just go off and you can repeat this um, All the way around just placing one half double crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds And your stitch count should um, Remain the same as 72 stitches. So for rounds um, for rounds 10 and 11 will be um, the black stripe and then yeah so you can go off and repeat this around and I'll come back and um, and I'll come back when we are ready to join yellow okay Okay, I am back after completing round um, round nine. Okay, I am back after completing round eleven, and now I'm ready to join um, or to color change to yellow. 
So again, I've left um, one stitch remaining. So I'm going to yarn over, insert into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through. We'll have three loops on a hook. Then we're going to drop the black and pick up the yellow. Okay, then you're going to yarn over and pick up the yellow and pull through all three of those loops. And then just pull the black a little bit tight. And then slip stitch again to that beginning um, beginning stitch. And then you just repeat the process. You're going to chain two. And then for the next... For the next 12 to 13 rounds, so technically two rounds, um, you're going to just continue placing one half double crochet um, into each stitch around for the next two rounds. And then we'll color change on the la last round back to black. Yeah, so you can repeat this around until you have your second round complete. And then I'll come back and I'll show you um, the next round. Okay. Okay. So now I am back and I've just finished crocheting my last half double crochet before I need to color change. So now I'm getting ready to color change. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, stop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Then get the black, get the back, the get the black. You're going to pick up the black and you're going to yarn over and pull that black yarn through those three loops on your hook. And then slip stitch to the beginning stitch to join. There you go. And again, your stitch count should have remained the same as 72 stitches. Yeah. And then you will repeat this again for another two rounds. So for rounds um, 14 to round 15, you'll just place one half double crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds. And your stitch count should remain the same as 72 stitches. So you can go off and complete um, another two rows of black and then I will meet back up with you when we are ready to color change back to yellow. Okay. okay, so now I'm back after doing another two rows of black and I'm ready to color change. So I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through with the black and then drop the black and then pick up the yellow. And then with yellow, you're going to yarn over and pull through those three loops. And then just slip stitch to, um, to the top of that stitch. Oopsie. I oh, know that was at the top of the stitch. Okay. And then just repeat that again. So for the next two rounds, again, um, round 16 to round 17, you're just going to place... Um, one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds and then we will do one last color change with black and then we are we'll be almost ready to do the brim of the hat the wavy brim um, so yeah you can place one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to join the yellow uh, sorry the black one more time um, yeah and just by the way because we are carrying our yarn this is what um, the yarn should be looking like um, after carrying our yarn or picking up our yarn um, honestly I'm okay with that if you don't like that you can just snip your yarn at the end of each round and join with like a slip knot or something um, but this will be on the inside of the hat, so you won't really see it. Okay, so you can just continue placing one half double crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds. And then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to join the black. Okay. Okay, so now I am back after completing the second round of the yellow um, all round. 16 to round 17 and now I'm ready to color change again so I'm going to yarn over and insert into that next stitch yarn over pull through drop the yellow pick up the black and then I'm going to yarn over and pull the black through those yellow loops and then you're just going to slip stitch 
uh, to the top of that stitch there and then you just repeat this again you're just going to chain two and then place um, one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds so for round uh, for round 18 and 19 you're just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around um, and then we, I will come back and then show you um, how to join the yellow again and yeah this is now the last strap of the black um, after this after the these two rounds of black we'll do two more rounds of yellow and then we will start preparing the brim we'll start doing the brim of the hat that wavy curvy brim um, so yeah you can go off and continue crocheting um, your two two rows of half double crochet in black and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to color change back to yellow Okay, so now I am back after doing that last stitch of the black and now I'm ready to colour change to yellow. So I'm going to yarn over, insert into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, drop the black and then pick up the yellow. Then yarn over and pull through those three loops to do your colour change and then slip stitch to the top of that next stitch. And then you're going to chain two and then repeat that so just place one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds and so for the round 20 to 21 so for the next two rounds you just place one half double crochet into each stitch around and yeah this is um the last stitch sorry the last two rounds of the yellow before we do the brim okay so if you want you can just snip the black you just take your scissors and just leave a little bit of a tail for sewing or weaving in your tail end and just snip that short because you don't need the black anymore and then yeah then you can just continue placing one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next round after doing these two rounds of yellow before doing the brim okay okay so now I've made a background after completing round 21 and I'm just gonna slip stitch to the beginning we're not gonna color change again we're just gonna slip stitch to the beginning and then what we're gonna do is to make sure that the what would you call it that the brim kind of goes black black I don't know how to explain it um goes outwards per se and doesn't curl like under or anything like that what we're going to do is we're going to do a row of front post half double crochet stitches so i'm going to show you how to do that now so you're going to want to chain two so you're going to want to chain up two as normal then you're going to yarn over you're going to yarn over to do your half double crochet then you're going to insert your hook underneath that stitch and then come out the next stitch. Okay, catching just the post of that stitch. So then you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And you repeat that. So you go into that next stitch. So it looks like, so you see this stitch that the other side that this, sorry. Do you see that the other side of this post is coming out of this next stitch here? You want to go into that stitch and then poke your hook out that next stitch like that around the post. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all through those loops to do your half double crochet. Again you're going to yarn over and then insert your hook into that other side of that post stitch over here. Insert your hook into there and then push your hook out. Yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through three. You just repeat that around going into the front post of the stitch. 
Okay, so you'll kind of insert your hook into like the previous stitch, but it's not quite the previous stitch. Um, if that makes any sense, because like this stitch is kind of poking out into this stitch, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making much sense. Um, so yeah, when you poke your crochet hook into that next stitch, so you poke your hook into like the same same stitch that you came out of, not quite. And then out through the other side of that stitch, you're also kind of poking your hook into that next stitch. You see there? So this is the next stitch and then that's the following stitch. So you're kind of poking your hook into that stitch that we were supposed to work into and then kind of poke your hook back out into that next stitch. And you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through three. Then again, you will repeat that, repeat, sorry, insert your hook into that previous stitch and then poke your hook into that next stitch. Okay, and then you just repeat that around. It can be a little bit tricky to understand. But I kind of hope that you understand what I am saying. Um, so yeah, it's starting to look like this now. So it's kind of being pushed forward. And that's kind of like the look that we want. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. So you're working around the stitch. Then you're going to work around that stitch and work around that stitch. Okay, so it looks like the post of the stitch is wrapping around the stitch. So it comes in from the right and from the left of the stitch. Okay, so you'll just repeat this around and your stitch count should have remained the same as um, 72 stitches. Okay, so you can just repeat this around doing one front post half double crochet stitch into each stitch around. Then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to actually work on the brim now. Okay. Okay, so now I've made a background to the beginning again. And now I need to work into that last stitch. It kind of looks like I've already worked in there because of this previous stitch. So I'm just going to insert my hook into that stitch and then poke my hook out. So just on that right, right inside of that uh, chain 2. And you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through 3. Okay, then I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning stitch. Okay, and now this is when it feels like that this hat is just going to take forever. So now for the brim. In order to make it extra, extra wavy, we are going to place half double crochets into each stitch, two half double crochets into each stitch around. So I'm going to chain two. And then we're going to place two half double crochets into each stitch around. So basically an increase into every stitch. So this is what is going to give the hat that waviness, that, that curled brim or that curly brim, wavy brim. This is, this is what is going to um, get that brim nice and wavy. So yeah, you can just carry on with this, placing two half double crochets into each stitch around and bear in mind it will stretch these stitches a bit but that's fine you won't really see it too much okay and your stitch count after this round there's not you don't really need to count because you're just placing two half double crochets in your stitch around but your stitch count should have gone up from 72 up to one 144 stitches by the end of this round and you're just going to place two half double crochets into each stitch around or an increase into every stitch around okay then we'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the last round of the hat okay you can already see how it's like starting to curl up a bit there and that is what we want Okay, yeah, so I can go off and continue that, and yeah, I'll meet back up with you um, when we are ready to move on to the next round. Okay, so now I am back after doing um, round 23, and we are now going to join with a slip stitch. And then we have one more round to do, so this is just to make it a little bit more um, extra wavy 
and also to give it some more extra like length um, so we are going to place one half double crochet into the first stitch we're going to chain two for leverage then you're going to place one half double crochet into the first stitch and then an increase into the second stitch and you would repeat that around placing one half double crochet in the next stitch and then an increase one half double crochet in the next stitch and then an increase you would repeat this all the way around and your stitch count should have gone up from 144 up to 216 yeah <laughs> big massive jump okay so yeah you'll just repeat that around placing one half double crochet in the next stitch and then and increase in the next okay and then i'll meet back up with you when we are ready to end off the hat okay so now I am back and I just finished crocheting that last row of placing one half double crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet, uh, sorry, two half double crochets in the next stitch. Um, I've done that all the way around and now you can see how extra wavy it is, which is exactly what we want. And then we can just slip stitch to the first stitch and we can end off. Okay, so you can just slip stitch to that first stitch and then just take your scissors leave a little bit of a tail just to weave that in snip your yarn and then yarn over and pull that through up and out okay and then this is what our hat should be looking like now um so all we need to do now is just weave in our tail ends crochet the the wings sew the wings on and then if you want to it's optional we're going to crochet the eyes sew the eyes on and then embroider white around the eyes and embroider pink blush and embroider a little mouth or a little smile I should say. Okay so let's grab our darning needle and let's start weaving in these tail ends. So I'm just going to take my darning needle and thread up my darning needle. Okay and then what I'm going to do is I am just going to place my needle through that stitch that we just slip stitched into cap and then I like to just turn my work to the back and then I like to just kind of sew down into the stitches um, making sure your needle does not show through the other side you're just gonna weave your needle in through some of those stitches and then don't pull too tight um, and then you're just gonna so skip this first like loop or this first stitch where our thread's coming out of skip that and then go into and then from that next stitch you're just going to sew down into the same direction we came in okay don't pull tight just um just so that we could just weave in our tail in and then just repeat the same process going back just skip this first like little bar there and then um, sew back down the way we came and then this just helps to hard and secure our tail end in place okay again don't pull tight then you can just grab your scissors and just snip that close to the stitch not too close oopsie um, and then you'll just repeat that for the other tail ends um, if you've worked over your tail end um, from your magic ring you can just snip that off and then these other two tail ends you can just weave that in so again just thread your darning needle oopsie just thread your darning needle and then again just kind of insert your needle under some of those stitches and then don't Pull on your thread too tight so that it's, um, it distorts the work. And then you just want to skip this first like vertical bar that you see there. I know it's hard to see because of black yarn. 
um, but just skip that first um, bar of the stitch and then just weave in your tail end like how we've done before skipping that first stitch and then going back um, sewing under some of those stitches again your needle should not be showing through on the other side if it is showing through then that means that it will show through on the stitches so I'm just going to sew up here and just sew under some of these stitches here okay. again don't pull tight and then just snip your yarn close to the work then repeat this for the last tail end And then just snip the thread close to the work. Okay, and now it is time to do the wing. So we can turn our hat inside out. And then we can put our hat to one side. Okay, and then we can get the watch on. Okay, so we can get the watch. Okay, find my tail end here. And then what we're going to do okay yeah, so we're going to take our tail end then we're going to make a magic ring so we're going to take our yarn wrap it around our fingers once twice and then the third time we're going to cross over and hold that down with your pinky finger and then turn it over then you're going to take your crochet hook and insert under the first two loops pick up the second loop and then do like a little uh, chain one to secure that and then take your magic ring off your fingers Okay, I'm just going to do an additional chain one just for leverage. So we have two chains and then we are going to do 20 half double crochets into the magic ring So we're going to yarn over and search yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops So that's one two three four five six seven I'm going to do this other one again. My loop is a bit big. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, and then again, we're going to take our tail end and pull on our tail end and one of the loops should kind of like disappear. And then that loop that got pulled in, we're just going to take that and then pull it down towards us. Okay, we're just going to pull it down towards us or ourselves. And then to get rid of that big loop, you're just going to take your tail end and pull on that tight. Okay, you're just going to pull that tight. Okay, then you're going to slip stitch to your first stitch. So find your first stitch and slip stitch to there. And I'm just going to carry over my yarn. Yeah, 
and then we're going to place you're going to chain two and then you're going to place one half double crochet in the first stitch and then an increase into the next stitch so at the end of round one you should have 20 half double crochets okay and then after the second round so we're going to repeat this around we're going to place one half double crochet into the next stitch and then an increase and you will repeat this all the way around and your stitch count should have gone up from 20 up to 30 by the end of this round okay. so you can go off and um, and complete round two and then I'll come back and show you what to do for round three okay and then after completing round two you're just gonna slip stitch to the beginning stitch and then you're gonna chain up two and then for this third round we're gonna place one half double crochet um, into the first two stitches so that's one and two and then we'll do an increase and then you will repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase. And your stitch count should have gone up from 30 up to 40 by the end of this third round. Okay, so you can go off and complete um, round three and then I'll come back and show you what to do from there. Okay, so now after completing um, round three, we are just going to slip stitch to the beginning. Um, so we're just going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to leave quite a bit of a tail. Um, and then we're just going to snip our yarn again, leaving a bit of a tail. Then we're going to yarn over and do a chain one essentially, but then pull up and out. Okay, and then that is our first wing done. Um, you can snip off this tail end at the back if you've worked over it. Okay, so that is what the first wing looks like. And then you will repeat this wing. You'll, you will repeat the same steps for the second wing. And then I'll show you how we're going to sew the wings onto the hat. Okay. Okay, so now I am back and I have completed crocheting both of the wings. And now it is time to sew them onto the hat so I'm gonna just take one and then just thread my darning needle okay and then I'm gonna grab my hat okay so there will be a seam let me just maybe zoom out a bit okay so there will be a seam yeah so there will be a bit of a seam that you can see like running diagonally so that is going to be towards the back okay so so we are just going to sew the the wing on so what i firstly like to do is i like to just go into the like the same stitch i slip stitched into um just to kind of bring the yarn to the top and then maybe just thread over one stitch that side and then back through this next stitch okay and then we are going to sew the wings on um let's see we're going to sew the wings on uh to round two of the hat so that's round one and then this is round two here so we're going to sew um the ears sorry not the ears the wings to round two Okay, so I am just going to get, okay, where is this, um, okay, so there is the seam running, running there, so yeah, we would want it towards the back, okay, so I'm just going to place it there so the seam is running 
down that way. Okay, so I've already gone into this wing. Okay, so now I'm just going to just like roughly just kind of like insert my needle um, at the end of this second round. And then we're just going to sew this down. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch there on the wing. And then through the next two stitches on round two of the hat like that. Oopsie. I lost my tail end out of my needle. Now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to thread my needle again. Okay, and then I'm going to um, thread back into the wing. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch of the wing and then sew down into the next two stitches on the hat. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like. And now I'm just going to secure it down a little bit. Um, so I don't want it to like flap about like this. I want it to kind of stay at like a certain angle. So after going into the hats, I'm just going to go back into the wing on the same stitch that I previously came out of, uh, like that. And then what I am going to do is I am going to now, I don't know like how to do this, like I know how to do this, but like, okay. So I'm going to um, actually going to sew into the hat. And then I'm going to come out um, two more rows down. So yeah, you'll just see the white a little bit on the inside of the hat, but it will be fine because um, we'll be wearing the hat, so it won't be um, won't be visible. Okay, then I'm just going to go down to the second round here of the wing. And I am just going to start sewing this down. Um, I'm just going to start sewing this wing down to the to the hat. Yeah. So this is just like very rough. This is just to get the. Um, the hat to like kind of look the way that we want it to look or wing I should say okay and then again I'm just gonna oopsie I'm just gonna sew back down into the stitch on um on the wing and then sew my needle into the next stitch of the the wing Yeah, this is a little bit fiddly and then I'm just gonna um, kind of like sew back up towards um, this side here so I can kind of tack this side down if that makes any sense okay so I'm just gonna just sew down like this Now that's kind of like looking okay, I think. Okay, I think I am happy with that. So it's like kind of tacked down, so it's not like all the way like sticking up, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I've just tacked it down and um, yeah, I think that's okay. So I am going to just bring my needle back to the top where the wing is. And then I'm just going to um, I am just going to weave in my tail end into the wing. So I'm going to just weave my tail end in and out through the stitches on the wing. Okay. 
here and then I'm gonna maybe come down to the second round and thread my needle through some of those stitches there do not pull too hard because you don't want to distort the stitches and then maybe go down to the center um to the center round here oh, yeah the beginning round then again do not pull tight and then what I'm going to do to just secure it is I'm just going to kind of skip um, the first loop and then just kind of go back in the same direction that I came okay again um, do not pull hard because you don't want to distort the work yeah, so I think that's okay and then you'll just want to um, take your scissors and you just want to snip your tail end okay and then you just want to repeat that for the other um, for the other ear sorry for the other wing I keep thinking it's an ear so yeah you'll just repeat that for the other wing so um, again you just want to um, thread up your darning needle and again just sew um, to the one side of the wing like that okay so now I'm going to sew this other wing on opposite this other wing okay I'm just gonna basically like kind of do the same thing Okay, and then I'm just going to sew back down into the wing here, and then I'm going to, um, and then I'm now going to stitch, um, stitch this wing down. Yeah, and then again, I'm just going to stitch down the side of this wing over here. Okay, and then if I am happy with that, which I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay. I don't know. I don't know if I should maybe sew it down a bit more. I am not sure if I should sew it down a little bit more.
And then again, I'm just going to weave in my tail end into the stitches here on the wing. Okay, so just weave in my tail end and then skip that first, uh, the first loop of the stitch that we came out of and then just thread your needle back. Again, don't pull too tight because you don't want to distort the work. And again, you can skip that first um, that first uh, vertical bar of that stitch. And then go into that next stitch and then just hide in your tail end underneath those stitches that we just came out of. Okay, and then there we go. Okay, now that is secured, we can snip off our tail end. So that is what it should be looking like now. Um, okay, so now it is time. So now this is optional. Okay, so if you're happy with the hat as it is now after you've added the wings, that's fine. You can finish off here and you can be on your way with your now cute little bee hat. Um, or um, we can now go ahead and we can start um, adding the, the face. So um, let's get started. So we are going to crochet some eyes. Um, okay, so we can put our bee hat aside. And then we're going to grab our crochet hook and our black yarn. Okay, so now for the eyes. So again, this is optional. You can leave the hat where it is now. Um, you can just have the hat with the bee wings. Um, that is what I did for my first hat. I didn't do a face or anything. I just crocheted the hats and I'm, I love the hat, I must, I must say. But now I want to add a cute little face. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to make eyes. So we need to make two eyes. So with our black yarn, we're going to make a magic ring. So we're going to take our, our, uh, our yarn. We're going to wrap it around our fingers, our two fingers, once twice and then the third time we are going to cross over to form an X. Okay. And then I'm going to take my crochet hook, insert under the first two loops and pick up that second loop and do a chain one to secure my magic ring. Okay, let me just get my camera to focus. Okay, there we go. So now to do the eyes. We are going to do single crochet stitches, which we haven't done yet. So, in order to do a single crochet stitch, you're going to insert your hook into that magic ring. You're going to yarn over and pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off your single crochet. Then again, you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook. Then you'll yarn over and pull through two. Again, insert yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. Okay, so, so far I've got three loops first round. Um, we are going to want to place six single crochets into this magic ring. So I have three already, so I've got one, two, three, I need another three. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, that's four, five, and six. Okay. Then you're going to take your tail end and you're going to pull on your tail end and then that circle or that loop that got pulled in, you're going to take that loop and you're going to pull it down towards you. Okay. Then you'll have this one loop here. Then you can take your tail end and pull on your tail end to get rid of that second loop. Okay. Then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning stitch. So we're going to find our first stitch and we're going to slip stitch. So we're going to yarn over, pull through. Oopsie. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and then pull that loop through the second loop. Then we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And then, um, an inch stitch around we're going to do an increase so we're going to yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two 
then into the same stitch place another single crochet so you're going to do an increase into each stitch around and at the end of the first round you should have had six single crochets so after doing the second round you should have a total of 12 um, 12 single crochet stitches by the end of the second round okay so we're just increasing in each stitch around placing two single crochets in each stitch around Yeah, so you might want to count your stitches because you have a slip stitch and sometimes a slip stitch can act as like or can look like another stitch. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, let me count that again. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Okay, so we've got 12 stitches. So we're going to find our first stitch and we're going to yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over, I'm sorry, we're going to yarn over and pull through and then pull that first loop through that second loop to do a slip stitch. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like now. Then we're going to take our yarn, oh, sorry, we're going to take our scissors, leave a little bit of a tail end, and then we can just snip off our yarn, and then we can just end off. Okay, then you can grab your scissors and you can just snip off this other uh, tail end here from the beginning. Okay, so that is our eye done, our one eye. Now you can go off and you can repeat the steps for the second eye. And then I'll come back and then I'll show you what we can do to sew it on. Or how we can sew it on. Okay, so now I have come back and I've completed two of the eyes. So now it's time to bring back our hat. So you can bring our hat back. Okay, so now we need to make sure that, oops, it would help if I zoom out, wouldn't it? Okay, so now we are ready to join um, the R's. So you'd want to find, um, like, kind of like roughly the center of where the wings are if that makes any sense okay so you'd want to find the center of the wings so it will be kind of in like this vicinity here okay so um what you want to do is you'd want to grab um grab uh one of your eyes and thread up your darning needle okay so i'm going to sew on the eyes Kind of like roughly um, over here in this kind of position like that okay so okay so I'm just gonna sew this down over here okay so I'm just gonna go into one stitch and come out on the other side of that stitch And then I'm going to come up into that next stitch and into that next stitch of the eye. And then I'm going to sew down into the hat and out through another stitch. Then insert your needle into the eye and then into the next stitch of the eye. And then sew down into the hat okay and then you just kind of want to repeat this all the way around just sewing um sewing the eye to uh to the hat Okay. 
at least now all the crocheting bit is done it's just a matter of just taking some yarn and just sewing um all of the like facial expressions onto the hat okay so i'm just again sewing up uh into the, the hat and then into the next stitch of the eye Okay. And then once you're happy with that, you can weave in your tail in so you can go in through some of the stitches on on the eye or in the hat, whichever way suits you. So again, I'm just going to go under some of those stitches to hard my tail end. Yeah, and then I'm just going to pull this to the inside and then just snip my yarn on the inside. Okay, so that's the one done. So now it's time to sew on the next one. So again, I just want to kind of make sure that this is kind of like centered. Okay. And then we're going to place the next eye just about here. Okay, so again. So I'm going to sew it over like a few stitches. So let's see how many stitches is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should I maybe do it like ten stitches? Ten stitches over? Okay, I think I'm just going to do like about ten stitches over. And then again, I'm just going to sew into the hat and then up into the stitches on the eye. And then down into the stitches of the hat. And then into the stitch on the hat and then back up into the eye. And again, I'm just weaving in my tail end here after um, sewing the eye to the to the hat. OK, 
Yeah. And so now, um, once you're happy with that, you can just snip off the yarn. Yeah. So now, this is what it should be looking like. Now it does look a little bit funny because you can like barely see the eyes. But now, we are going to add some facial some facial features. Okay. So to make the eyes pop. We are going to get some white yarn here. Um, I'm just going to snip. Um, you don't need so much. Um, just snip a little bit off here. And what we're going to do. So I'm just going to insert my needle. So I'm just going to. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail on the other side here, and then just so that we can kind of see the eye, I'm just going to, um, just sew around the eye. So it looks so it looks something like that. So you might want to um, sew like two strands, so come out through the same stitch that you first came out of, and then through this stitch over here. Okay, like that. And then... Um, And then I'm now going to add like a little bit of a highlight in the eye. So I'm going to come up into um, into a stitch on the eye. And then just like go over a stitch or two. And then just sew down. Like that. So it looks something like that. Okay, you can just end off here. So what I'm just going to do, because um, this will be um, hidden on the inside, you won't actually see this. So I am just going to tie this in a knot. I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Okay, so that's kind of like what it should be looking like. So I'm just going to tie that in a knot and then just snip this like short but not like too close to the knot. Just leave like a little bit of some tail ends there because you want the knot to come undone. Okay, then we can do the same for the other eye. Yeah, so you can grab a little bit of thread and a little bit of yarn, um, just snip a little bit off, um, thread up your needle, and then again, um, and come up through like a stitch um, at the top of the eye here, leaving a bit of a tail, and then insert your needle into um, a stitch at the bottom of the eye. Okay, making it like get caught there just next to the eye. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come up um, through the same stitch I came out of at the top and then down through the same stitch. Um, at the bottom of the eye and then I'm going to come up oopsie okay 
cat. And then I'm going to come up um, just into the stitch of, an, of the eye. Just making sure that this yarn goes falls next to the eye like that. Okay, so I'm just going to come up through that stitch there and then I'm just going to come out over here. It's like two stitches down. Okay, so then it looks like that. Okay, so I'm going to end off this other one. So again, I'm just going to tie, tie these two tail ends in a knot. And then again, I'm just going to take my scissors and leave like a little bit of a tail end of the knots. I don't want to cut it so close to the knot. Um, yeah, so that's the eyes done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little bit of pink. And we're going to create some blush. Okay, yeah, so just take a little bit extra than what you used for the white. Because we're going to make quite a lot of blush. Yeah, so just thread up your darning needle and then we're going to come just like below um, below the R, kind of like to the, the right of it. Um, I think that this is okay here. And then again, just leave a bit of a tail. And then just go over like one or two stitches, like diagonally. Yeah, and then you just want to repeat that a few times. Go up into the same stitch you came, you first came out of, and then through that same stitch that you went into there. Okay, you just want to do this a handful of times. And then after you are happy with kind of like the way that it looks, so that's kind of like what it should be looking like, um, I'm again going to do the same thing, just end off and then um, knot these two here at the back. I think that's okay and then again you just want to snip your yarn but then leave like a little bit of a tail you don't want to snip too close to the knot okay maybe I can cut this a little bit shorter like that okay and then you would just repeat that for the other side so again just take a little bit of pink yarn And then thread up your darning needle. And then you'd kind of want to um, position it in the same sort of um, place as before. So kind of like um, like one stitch over like that. And then you just want to insert your needle um, in and out the stitches like this just a few times. Yeah, just until you are happy with the way that it looks. Okay, and then once you're happy, um, you can again just 
uh, tie your tail ends into a knot. And then once you're happy with that, again, you can just grab your scissors and just snip like that. Not too close to the knot. Okay, so now that's what our little bee hat should be looking like now. And now the last thing to do is just to add like a little smirk. So we can grab our black yarn. Don't need a lot. Grab your black, snip a little thing of black. And then okay, and then we're just gonna maybe come um just like to the right of the face but still like kind of like within the eyes and we're just gonna do the same thing as what we did here for the blush and then just gonna go over diagonally like two stitches to form like a little smile something like that I think okay so I think that looks okay I think that looks great yeah so again the same thing um, will apply so we're just gonna um, take our tail ends and knot them Okay, and then again, just leave a little bit of a tail and just snip um, your yarn. Okay, and that is what the finished bee hat looks like um, with the face. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed making your cute little um, bee hat. Um, I don't know, let me know if it looks better with or without the little facial features and the cute little face. Um, I think the face does look a bit cute, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I think the, the black on the black, just, yeah, the black eyes and the black straps just kind of mess with it a bit. But hey, I still think it came out cute. I mean, look at that little, look at that little face, the little smirk. Isn't it just cute? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little hat. And I guess it's time for the reveal. Okay guys, so this is the finished um, reveal of the hat with the, the eyes. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I like it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure, I think it's up to personal preference. Um, I think maybe if I used maybe like a, not really like a light grey, but not like a black black, you know, if I used maybe like something lighter than black perhaps. Um, maybe like a very dark grey that looks a little bit like black. Um, I think maybe that would look better for the eyes. Um, but yeah, I still think this was somewhat, somewhat cute. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, no, I think that maybe if you could see the eyes a little bit better, then it would be okay. I don't know. What do you think? I have like kind of like mixed emotions about it. I don't know. I mean the blush, the blush kind of looks looks good. And then you said the bluff. The the blush kind of like looks good. The eyes kind of look good. You know the highlights and everything. But like again, you can't really differentiate between the eyes and the straps. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So do you guys like the the one at the face? I do think it's cute, but like, I don't know, you can't really see the other eyes. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so there's that one. That's the one with the, with the face. And then there's one without the face. I still think that the one without the face is just super cute on its own. Yeah, so which one do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments section below. Um, of which one do you think looks cute? I still think this one looks cute, you know, like with the eyes. 
Um, but yeah, I really do think that if it wasn't for like the black on black, then I think it would like kind of like look a bit better. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think. Um, so yeah, maybe we could go over the bottom more with white, maybe. Just to make it pop more, I guess. But yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. So yeah, that is it for today's tutorial, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed um learning how to crochet this cute little bee hat. Um along with this cute little variation of the face and all. Again, please let me know if you guys um if you guys like the, the the face version and if you guys could make it work then i would love to i would love to see your versions or variations on social media so tag me at tasman's crochet creations i really would love to see um how yours come out um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little bee hat with or without the face um so yeah with that being said thank you guys for watching um, please like, comment, subscribe and share. It really does help out my channel. And I have noticed a huge number of you who watch my videos, you aren't subscribed. So what are you doing? Click that subscribe button. You'll not miss a thing. And trust me, there are some fun things coming to this channel. I'm so excited myself. So click that subscribe button. Okay, that is it guys. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting. Bye guys.